was that quite an entrance? <laughs> Look at my hair, it's just looking lovely today. So today, um, well, before I get started, um, you might hear some licking <laughs> slash crunching in the background because Freckles, the goat dog, is right by me. So right now he's licking his paw and his food is right next to him, so it's likely that he could eat his food. <laughs> Oh, look a cow <laughs> so anyways today I just wanted to do a story time video because the story I'm gonna tell is one that I always think back on and I'm like wow <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing I hear somebody shooting a gun I really don't know who that could be scary so this story is about my very first job that I ever had and Enjoy this background guys, we have lots of animals walking by. <laughs> um, so when I was 16, um, which surprise, I'm not actually 16 right now. I get people all the time that say, what high school do you go to little girl? <laughs> but seriously, people are always asking me like what school I go to because they think I'm still in high school but yet I'm almost 26. So almost 10 years ago, when I was 16, I had my first job and it was actually at a restaurant and I was a bus girl like I cleaned up people's tables after they left and reset the tables for the next people that came in that's what I did basically and um, this summer which this doesn't really have anything to do with the story but um, that was a goat sneezing if you could hear that <laughs> so this particular summer I actually moved to a larger town slash city. I moved there for the summer and I actually lived uh, with my cousin and her mom and dad, so my aunt and uncle. I actually lived with them um, and me and my cousin worked at this restaurant that was literally like a mile down the road from their house. So it was a pretty good gig and when, since this restaurant was very different, we only worked like, uh, it was only open at nights basically, so or evenings, so we only worked like a few hours a day so it was a pretty good like teenager job but that is beside the point totally anyways so during the summer of busting tables um I one day was working or whatever and one of the girls come up to me one of the waitresses which basically all the people that worked there like the waitresses and waiters and things we were all like young kids so it was a really fun work environment even though I was like nervous every single day when I went to work because I just did not want to be around people and I mean I'm still like that but I just it was a very intense first job I mean for for me for my personality I guess but anyways so one day uh we're working and there was in the restaurant there was this little like nook um uh, in one of the rooms there was like three big rooms if I remember right in this restaurant and we were in, in this one particular room it was basically like a party room there was one large table it was like meant specifically for people to have like you know big groups in or like a large like a birthday party or something like that and in that room there was like a little nook right there that had our little station of like extra plates and silverware and all that kind of stuff you know so one of the waitresses come up to me and said Tiffany you're taller than everybody here can you reach up there on that top shelf and get me there was a little basket of salt and pepper shakers with like the glass bottoms and like the screw on tops or whatever if you know what I'm talking about and they were in a basket and she was needing some and she said you're tall enough can you reach up there and get those for me please and I was like yeah no problem so I reach up and it's like this basket is just out of my reach and it's like right on the top of the shelf and I was like okay so in my mind like my first instinct is to kind of hop a little bit kind of jump up a little bit and grab that basket off of there so before this happened before I this second before I jump um, there is a table of people directly behind me eating soup because at this restaurant it was a very interesting restaurant you didn't like order things off a menu everything was the same it was almost like a Sunday dinner kind of meal like the first thing that they brought out was a big bowl of soup and like so everybody had soup first and then they brought out like a bowl of chicken and a bowl of mashed potatoes and all this stuff but um so everybody was behind, like right behind me eating their soup and I proceed to jump up and grab this basket and I did not grab it correctly 
and it flips backwards. The salt and pepper shakers in the basket obviously flip out of the basket. And I don't remember exactly how many people's soup got messed up, but I know for sure that one of the like parts of the salt and pepper shakers landed in somebody's soup. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Um, it's kind of funny to laugh at it now, but at the time I was like, oh my gosh, because <laughs> these people are going to probably never want to eat here again, but I, because I flipped the salt and pepper shakers into their food, and I, for some reason I want to say that our boss wasn't there that night. I mean, I don't think it would have been something I got in trouble for because I didn't really mean to do it, you know, it was an accident, but um, I never remember like any consequences or anything because of it, um, like, you know. I might have, I can't remember, some of them were glass, and I want to say that they might have broke, and everybody was saying, oh, you're going to get that taken out of your paycheck because you broke those, but I really don't remember if anything ever happened, but that was a very embarrassing and traumatic experience for me, like, being like, I'm sorry I got that in your soup. <laughs> so that's my story, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and tell me that you want more story time videos. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post a brand new video every single Friday. So I will see you guys next week and maybe it'll be with a birch box unboxing. Depends on when I get that in. But it is getting a little cloudy here. There's a chance of rain, so I'm going to get going. So I'll see you guys later. Bye! I was just gonna leave my camera here. Silly, silly, silly.